got it wrong, man. You got it wrong. Like Bali, you turn it down, don't wanna crank ma. But when the storm is, you wanna thank ma. You ain't for ma, you don't know ma. Living the double like you wanna thank ma. The sons of the prophet, Sean Lifer, Sean Remicky, and Demoy Simpson. They are called Sons of the Prophet or F O P. Welcome to CVM at Sunrise. Hey. They're here for fresh meat, but I'm excited because they're launching an album. I like when people are progressive like I really do. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Tell me, what is the sound of SOP? Wow. Um, to place SOP in a genre or a category, um, that would be... But basically, we try to branch off into other stuff, so you won't find one song where you can say, this is SOP or this is it, because you get a little bit of hip-hop here, and then when you listen to the album again, you, listen, you hear a little bit of reggae, culture, dance, hop, mm. um, even reggaeton. Mm -hmm. I mean, R&B. So to, play, to, to say that it's, it's we're in one genre, it's utter difficult. So the sound is really dynamic. Yeah. Okay. So, but mainly it's hip-hop. Mainly. Mainly. So, yeah, as you said on the album, you, you have different genres. We even do rock also. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yes. yes. How is that received when you do rock? When we do it, well, it's on the album right now. Album. Um, we've had the, the pleasure of giving a, uh, a bit of teasers to, to persons. You know, and we'll be getting some good receptions, you know, both locally and abroad. So it's going good. Okay. You are Sean Remicky. Yep, that's me. What do you do in the group? Remicky? Well, I rap. <laughs> <laughs> How did you learn to do that? Wow. Um, that's a long story. I was... I, I was have a, time. <laughs> <laughs> I was a terrible rapper in high school. Mm. Terrible. But I would say it's, it's more through experience. I, I can't say that I would be doing this if I wasn't a Christian because I would say, oh, the talent comes from God and God alone mm -hmm. because I was terrible at it. Okay, wh what's a good rapper as opposed to a terrible rapper? Don't you just have to put the rhymes together in this time? A terrible rapper is like, mm -hmm. no, no. A terrible rapper is okay. like, fresh um, rhymes. Okay. Fresh rhymes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fresh, rhymes. fresh rhymes. You know? Yeah, a horrible rapper is. Not my name is Alicia, yeah. and I was born. Where are you going? That's, 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 that's bad. That's bad. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's good rapping? Good rap is where you, you, you know you have this this topic, you have this point, and yes. you're able to take persons around, in, over, mm -hmm. on, uh, and still still you know. pinpoint exactly what is it you're trying to bring across. Yeah. So it's not about putting rhymes together because often per persons just get lost in their own yes. songs, you know, trying to bring across a point that, you know, so, so the, the thing is, good rap is where you can get persons to be edified, to be encouraged, to be empowered through your music. You okay. So that's it. You have chosen a genre of music, hip-hop, rap, um, that has been associated in the United States, where I think it originated, right, mm -hmm. um, with with the gun culture, the drug culture, Gangster, gang culture, yeah. in the States, uh -huh. what what do you bring to it as Christians? Uh, we bring so different. Yeah, we bring the same thing that um, you, you have other you have other like gospel artists, um, gospel hip hop artists in the in, in abroad, like the Truth and Lecrae and Tadashi. That's really ripping it up in the states, and uh, we bring the same thing that they're bringing. Actually, we, mm -hmm. we bring the the message of the Lord. Um, the album is called Unorthodox. Mm -hmm. um, we call it Unorthodox. His will. Unorthodox meaning that it's a it's a different method in in which we're bringing the the gospel, but it's His will because the message doesn't change. Okay. So you know, it, it, it's. It's as we've said before, it's, it's edifying, it's empowering, it's encouraging persons through the word, through the scriptures. So we, we, we put down all the, the guns, the, 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 the violence, the violence and stuff and to bring across positivity, to bring across the message of Christ. You're a Demoy. Okay. Demoy, when you are in front of a Jamaican audience, what goes through your mind when you're about to give them rap music? Are you scared to death? Because uh, <laughs> why I ask. I was at Andrews when you performed, and I was scared to death for you. Okay. <laughs> Why would they choose that? Why would they do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. What um, goes through your mind? Read. The thing is, I'm not necessarily nervous. Um, sometimes, be, to tell the honest truth, most times, most times when we touch a stage, people they're not really sure what to expect. So yeah. it's like yeah. there, there, there is this uncertainty. But then the music. The music, the music. Um, people gravitate towards because we're, we're 
whether it's America or Jamaica or the, the, the Grenada or Lesser Antilles, all Jamaicans like a heavy bass. Mm -hmm. So when, mm -hmm. the, when the beat kicks in, you know, and then the, 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 the we just start to move the music, everything the music, from the music, the rhythm is right, people gravitate towards it. So I'm not really worried about the music in terms of in the what I'm really, what I'm most conscious of is letting them hear the words. Try to get your mom back, try to focus, focus on Jesus, on Jesus, Jesus, where your mind's at, break beyond and pop into a climax,